Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Verma and today we are learning the example of decision tree. Here we are given with a data set. The data set contain instance. So there are six instance or the example. In the data set, there are two attributes. Attribute A1 contain values true and false. Similarly, attribute A2 contain values true and false. Data set also contain target variable, which is classification. And it can be positive or negative. So there are two possible outcomes for the classification or target variable. So that means it is the binary classification. Now from this data set, we are going to find out entropy, information gain, and we are going to construct the decision tree. Now we are taking the attribute A1. The value of attribute A1 will be true and false. Now we are taking S. Here S represent the complete data set outcome which is taken from the target variable that is classification. So here we have the outcome plus and minus. Number of plus are 1, 2 and 3. So in the target variable the outcome will be 3 plus and minus are 1, 2 and 3. So it is 3 minus. So here the entropy of S will be 1. If number of plus and number of minus are same in a outcome, then the entropy is 1. And if we have all positive or all negative, in that case entropy will be 0. Now we are taking ST. Here T stands for the true. So in data set, we are having attribute A1 and for the true values, what will be the outcome? So for attribute A1, we are marking all the true and correspondingly, we are taking the outcome. Here we have two positive. So ST will be equal to two plus and one negative. So here one minus. Now we are calculating the entropy of ST and that will be equal to and this is minus proportion of positive log 2 proportion of positive. Here we can see that 2 are the positive out of total which is 3. So minus 2 by 3 log 2, 2 by 3. Further minus proportion of negative log 2 proportion of negative. Here we can see that 1 minus, that means 1 is the negative out of 3. So minus 1 by 3 log 2, 1 by 3. And that will be equal to 0.9183. Now we are calculating SF. Here F stands for false. That means in attribute A1, for the false, what are the probable outcome? So in attribute A1, we are marking the F and their corresponding outcome. So here we have 1 plus, so it will be equal to 1 plus and 1, 2, so 2 minus. So here we are writing 2 minus. Now we are calculating the entropy of SF. 
and this is minus positive proportion log to positive proportion. So here positive is 1 out of total 3. So minus 1 by 3 log to 1 by 3 minus negative proportion log to negative proportion. So that is 2 negative out of total 3. So minus 2 by 3 log to 2 by 3 and that will be equal to 0.9183. Now we are writing the formula for information gain. So here we have information gain of S. S is the whole data set and A is the attribute. So it is equal to entropy of complete data set minus summation of here V is mentioned. So V is true and false. So V will be the individual value. So here entropy of individual value multiply with proportion of individual value. So here we are calculating the information gain for attribute A1. So gain of whole data set and here A1 will be equal to entropy of S means whole data set minus now the summation of here in A1, two possibilities are there, true and false. So first we are taking the true. So here V will be T. So that will be ST by S multiply with entropy of ST. Plus the second is false. So this will be SF by S multiply with entropy of SF. Now put the values. So here entropy of S is 1 minus the bracket. So ST in attribute A1, 3 are true. So ST is 3. So this is 3 by 6 multiply with Entropy of ST and entropy of ST is 0.9183 plus SF. In attribute A1, 3 are false. So SF is 3. So that will be 3 by 6 multiply with entropy of SF and that is 0.9183 and that will be equal to 0 0.0817. Now in the similar manner we are taking the attribute A2. The values of A2 are true and false. Here we are taking the S which is the complete data set outcome for the target variable and that will remain same as the previous which is 3 positive and 3 negative. Now the entropy of S will be 1 when both positive and negative are same then the entropy will be 1. If we have all positive or all negative then entropy will be 0. The attribute A2 can be true and false. So here we are taking ST. Here T signify true. That means in attribute A2 we are taking the true and their corresponding outcome. So here number of plus are 1 and 2. So it will be equal to 2 plus and number of minus are 1, 2. So 2 minus. Now we are finding the entropy of ST. Here we can see that plus and minus both are same. Both are 2. That means entropy will be 1. 
So whenever we find both plus and minus as same, then we don't need the complete formula. We can directly write as 1. Second value of A2 is F. So here we are taking SF. Here F signify false. That means in attribute A2, we are taking the false and correspondingly outcome. Here number of plus is 1. So we are writing 1 plus and number of minus is 1. So here is 1 minus. Now the entropy of SF. Again both plus and minus are same. Both are 1. So the entropy will be 1. We don't need the complete formula to calculate. Directly we can write 1. Now we are calculating the information gain for A2 using the formula of information gain. So here the gain of S means whole data set with the attribute A2 will be equal to entropy of whole data set minus summation. So here we are taking a bracket. In attribute A2, two possibility are there which is true and false. So first we are taking for the true that will be st by s and entropy of st plus sf divide by s and entropy of sf. Now we are putting the values so that will be equal to entropy of complete data set which is taken as 1 minus in the bracket st so true so here in attribute a2 number of true are 1 2 3 and 4 so st is 4 divided by total and the total are 6 so 4 by 6 multiply with the entropy of st and the entropy of st is 1 plus sf f means false so here in attribute a2 the false are 1 and 2 so sf is 2 divided by total and the total is 6 so 2 by 6 Multiply with entropy of SF and that is 1 and this will be equal to 0. So here for the attribute A1, we have calculated the entropy of S, entropy of ST and entropy of SF with the information gain for a1 and this is 0 0.0817. Similarly for attribute A2 we have calculated entropy of S, entropy of ST, entropy of SF and the information gain for A2 which is 0. Now we are going to construct the decision tree. So there are two attributes a1 and a2 out of which one will be the root of tree. Here the attribute which will be having more value of information gain will be the root. Here we can see that the information gain for a2 is 0. And information gain for A1 is 0 0.0817. This is large than 0. So here 
attribute a1 is having large or greater value for information gain so it will be the root of decision tree so this attribute a1 is taken as the root and this a1 can be true or false so there are two possibility one is true and second is false now for the true we are highlighting all the true and correspondingly we are having the instance 1 2 and 3 so on the true side we are having 1 2 and 3 and on the false side so here we are highlighting the false and corresponding instance which are 4 5 and 6 so here on the false side we are mentioning 4 5 and 6 now just observe the true side which is instance 1 2 and 3 and here for the instance 1 2 and 3 we have the possible outcome which are 2 plus and 1 minus all three instance don't have the same outcome that is the combination of plus and minus so it is not allowed we need to take the help of remaining attribute and here the remaining attribute is a2 so here we are mentioning the a2 in the a2 we have two possibility which is true and false so here we are taking the two branches one for the true and second for the false so out of 1 2 and 3 instance at true side in a2 we are having 1 and 2 so here we are mentioning 1 and 2 at true side and the third instance 3 is having the false for a2 so 3 will be coming to the false side now here we can observe these two true which are 1 and 2 these both are positive so here 1 and 2 are positive so here we can write positive and this 3 the 3 instance in a2 is having the outcome which is negative so here on the false side we can write the negative so here the left side of decision tree is constructed now we are going towards the right hand side on the right side we are having the instance 4 5 and 6 so here we can see that these 4 5 and 6 are having the outcome which is plus minus minus one is the plus and two are minus so these all instance don't have the same outcome the outcome is different so we need the help of another attribute which is a2 so here we are taking the attribute a2 attribute a2 is having two possibility which is true and false so here in the attribute a2 we are adding the two possibilities the first is true and second is false out of instance 4 5 and 6 here on true side we are having the instance 5 and 6 so here we are mentioning 5 and 6 on the true side and the 4 this 4 is on the false side so here we are mentioning the 4 towards the 
false side. Here we can observe the 5 and 6 which are on the true side. They both have the outcome which is minus. So here we can write the minus. And the instance 4. This 4 which is on the false side is having the outcome plus. So here we are writing the plus. So now our decision tree is complete. So here using the given data set, we have calculated the entropy information gain and we have constructed the decision tree. So that's all for today. Thank you.